Modern Workplace Tips, Quick How-To Demos. Hi, I am your host, Michael Gennati. As always, this is brought to you by PowerPoint Recording, the easy way to capture ideas and processes, shareable video. We're going to take a look at how to create a sway from a Microsoft PowerPoint. Quick disclaimer, any views, opinions, and or demos in this video are purely the expressions of Michael Gennati and not my employer. Demos are as is, use at your own risk. All right, so here we are. We're gonna take a look at this PowerPoint that we have here. Now it's important to note that when we do wanna convert a PowerPoint to a sway, uh, the PowerPoint needs to be under 20 megabytes, all right? Otherwise, you know, if you think about a web page itself, you're, you're just getting way too unwieldy. So here we have this PowerPoint for the Contosa Corporation talking about core values, inspiring others and all that stuff that we might want to put out to our employees or to others. But, you know, we don't have to start from scratch. If we want an attractive, responsive web-based design, all we need to do is open Sway. And so you can see here, I have Sway opened here in the browser, so I could do this from here. My mouse over, it says start from Word, PowerPoint, or PDF. Or I can even use the application for Sway. And again, if I mouse over, start from a document, it says start from Word, PowerPoint, or PDF. So let's go ahead. We're gonna select that. We're gonna scroll down. Actually, let's close that particular PowerPoint that we had there. There we go. And let's go here to it. And as soon as I clicked it, notice now we got the little bars going. Just a moment. We're creating a sway from the Contoso Corporation PowerPoint or PPTX. And there we go. It's done. It has grabbed all the different pages, created various elements. You can see here if I scroll up and down, here they are. I can go in as well and I can select design and see what that's going to look like here. So here's how they've laid that out um, to make it simple. I could go into styles themselves. I could change that from a vertical to a side scroller and I can see how that's going to look and lay out as well. Um, I could do slides. I'm going to keep the vertical here. If I wanted to, I could also change the look and feel. I could do it custom or I could select from a range of pre-made templates that we have here available for us. So for example, if I select that one, boom, there we go. And again, it's changed now colors and stuff according to the theme, it's actually muted the pictures. We can see it's changed our charts accordingly. We could select different ones. Here we go, one with a red type banner, without one, select this blue, there are many, different options for us. And if we just didn't know what we wanted to do, we could come up here to the top, just click Remix until it gives us something that we like. That's kind of crazy. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so that's that way. Let's do it as a vertical. I kind of like that with the blue background. Let's change it a little bit. Again, we could have it. They had created a side scroller. Maybe I'll keep it that way. So once we're finished, we can go ahead and finally preview exactly what it'll look like to our users by clicking play. So here you go. I've got now the Contoso Corporation. We can click through. Again, it's a side scroller here. Um, but if I wanted, and I can click on any of these images, click in and out, I can come back here and share or edit further if I wanted, or I can share that, make that available. So now I can make it available just to specific people or groups. The default is those in your organization with the link. So I could publish the link out to an internet. I could use the embed code and embed it. If I desired, I could email that out, uh, but it's only gonna be for authenticated users. Finally, anyone with a link, if your IT has turned this on, that means when I select that, notice how the options have changed. We have some social media here. Now I can publish this externally for external customers. So if you have, again, PowerPoints and things you've been using for marketing, you can readily reuse them to make web-based content. From here, I can then invite people to view that. I can get a visual link. I can just publish it straight to Facebook, share it there, share it to Twitter, share it to LinkedIn, get the embed code to put in line on a web page, 
some additional options. Viewers can see share buttons so they can reshare. Whole range of options there. But that's it. It's simple. It's easy taking existing content. We can then again go and edit that content further if needed or take as is. All right, so that was it. That's easy peasy, right? You have existing PowerPoints. You want to turn it into a responsive design web page for the web. Use Sway. You can import that, PD, that PowerPoint as well as PDFs or Word docs. Import it in. You can tweak it, do some things with that, alter the style. And when you're done, share internally and potentially even externally. So I want to thank you for joining me. This has been Michael Gennati. If, as always, if you have questions and want to connect with me, you can find me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash IN slash Mike Gennati. At Facebook on facebook.com slash Michael Gennati. On Twitter at twitter.com slash Gennati. And on Instagram, where you can take a look at pictures of my vacations, etc. At instagram.com slash mgennati. That's it. I want to thank you for joining me for Workplace Tips. This has been Michael Gennati, bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.